You like Trump? Good girl. You like Biden? All right, good evening. We uh get in a mad rush trying to find something when you when something goes down you can't figure it out. Uh not only do I but a bunch of us uh the little black I know y'all seen the little black pile supplies. I don't I ain't got an extra one left over. But it's a little black switcher models, and it's in the APL of you, I know. But I ain't going to break it out uh, to bring it over here. But we've been searching for power supplies, BB items, and video of some uh, switchers, or server supplies. And I I made a power supply a while back out of servers. Uh, hold on. This one I've cut the wires off of them because I needed them to go on something else. But this is one of the Dale's switchers, servers, server supplies. That uh, This is the same one. If you go to Gatekeeper's video, it's not the same one. It's one identical to it. If you go to Gatekeeper's, he's been running this thing for years. Long as I've known him, he's been running one of these. And this is how I come about getting it. It's because he told me, so look, go buy one. They work perfect. I'm going to actually put this over on my other table of you. I, I got six tables. So this is going to power two of the tables. This puts out about 80, uh, 80 amps of power. And it's very easy adjustable. I mean, this thing is like a dream. This thing works phenomenal. Probably one of the best ones I've had yet. This one works really good, but it's just so damn big. I don't, it's as bigger than the damn, this is bigger than a, than a one before. You can hide it up underneath a table like I'm going to do. Don't put it in no case, nothing like that. Run these wires up. Or make you a terminal, put your block down. Uh, some of these terminal blocks, put them down. Run the cable into here and you got two places to cook up. I got one over there on a the table. I don't use it a lot. <laughs> there. It ain't even in use now. Uh, I can actually take it up. But, uh... Yeah, that. Oh. Like I said, this this pulls 80 amps like easy. Very easy. Uh, on 110 volt. Uh, so, that's that one. This is pretty simple. It's not too hard. It's a lot of information on this. If you want to get one of these, there's the number right there. AT, ATSN model 7000 says four zeros uh, 245-4 more zeros. Really good power supply. If you ain't got a room, if you ain't got uh, restraint, um, you know, if you're going to put it up underneath the table, hide it, uh, put it up in a drawer or something like that, it works great. You don't have to go inside of it and mod anything. 
Everything on it is right here. Everything to do with this thing is right there. All of these are tied together. That's the height. It tells you how to do it. That's a video on YouTube of it. It's very easy, simple to follow. And you actually got a 3 volt uh, down there, but uh, it's adjustable with a uh, 500 ohm pot. Just as smooth as glass. Just as smooth as glass. Uh, now, like I said, I hadn't messed with it in a while. So, these are, it's a 900 watt. But compare that to one of these new ones that I just got in the mail like about two hours ago. And, uh, and I've used this one. It, like I said, it works great. I had I needed a, a wire, so I cut it off of there, ground wire, and uh, that's what happened to that. But uh, you know, shit like that happens. And I built another power supply. This is what I was talking about. Well, it actually not out of these. It was a DPS eight hundred. G, I think that's what it was. I can go back in my video. It's pretty way back. It's a amplifier built for Eric. Uh, this one here is a ATSN. So Anthony, Tony, Sam, Nathan, seven hundred one zero four four dash. Y and three zeros. This is supposed to be on a hundred volts, uh, sixty-five amps, hundred twenty volts. We'll, we'll be hooking it up to seventy-two amps and uh, two twenty eighty-two amps. And this thing does; it works really good. Uh, I've hooked four or five different people up with these. Uh, it is a slight modification to it in there for the crowbar. You take the top off of it and get into the crowbar. Majority of times you'll get these screws here and here that uh, don't want to come out. So you just have to drill it. Drill the head off of it and it'll come out and you can get it out of there. And it, I just got the other three screws come out perfectly easy. One here, one here, one here. I don't know why these don't come out. Uh, but they just don't want to come out. Now these do have a little bit of fan noise. So I hear, uh, not from my ears, from other people. They do have a little noise. Uh, we found a cable. And this one hooks up with a simple computer cord too. I put a switch on it there and a die I mean a capacitor and I got a load resistor and this one you gotta put uh I think there's two Eights tied together. I, I have to take that off and actually read it, but uh, it's on and running. So I have to listen to the video to hear it. But uh, I just put that there, turn it off and on. Uh, you can put these up underneath your table, and that'll take away a lot of that fan noise of it, especially when you turn the fan in the back like that. And you can run a simple off and on switch up by to your table, turn it on, and you put this on a uh, uh, 
power strip, turn it on and off, put it on a breaker, whatever you want to. I got the majority of my stuff on breakers. My little control panel over here, that's what I run my everything out here off of is breakers. But uh this power strip here has got a breaker built in it. One of them harbor freight ones. Actually the harbor freight ones better than the uh other ones out there. But this one here, it will pull that full peel biased perfectly fine. Uh, no problems whatsoever. It actually I don't see any voltage loss on it. Not any. Uh, now we can hook it up. I had to sort of the tabs to it. This really ain't about this but supply, but it's just showing you some other options out there for you other than uh, than just uh, just one thing. It's more like I said the uh, DPS 800s They ran good. That's the fucking ground. Dumbass. Get in a hurry. You gotta watch yourself. Don't get in too big a hurry. But you see, I can fuck up too. I need to quit cussing. Uh. I can screw up too. I had a a Joe Biden moment. Now I subscribe to BBI's channel uh, on Patreon. And for some reason, I can't see the video that he had on these the other day on Patreon. I don't know whether I have to pay more money or what, but uh, I click on it, it says the video is not available, and I'll show you that in a minute. I'm but uh. Let's get this hooked up to start with, and let's show you this little unit we're running. This video is not about, you know, making this look bad. It's, I, I haven't even looked this one up yet. So, we'll go through that together here in a minute. But this is just showing that these run good too. Uh, and it shows to be more options. Now, uh, by what I've seen on his video the other day, I got the uh, original Reddit uh, thing on this one uh, that I can watch. Or right, I then made a few notes on it on uh, how to do this. This one. So I remember hearing him say it, and I got the Google circuit searching it. And uh, the first day I couldn't find it, the second day I found it. So that's the way Google does. But this one right here was kind of hard to find too. But I found the mods for this one. You go in here to a uh, 393 uh, voltage regulator, I think's what he called it. You go in there and trim, uh, pull the leg up. And it, uh, I don't know where it completely disables the crowbar in it. I don't know. Uh, the biggest thing I've hooked up on it yet is, well, a full pill like this. So, but it pulls that phenomenally. And I'll show you. 
I've been giving these away. I think I gave Hondo one the other day. Uh, but I don't know why. Some of them I do better than others. Some of them I do better than those others. I don't know if this one is, uh, I've not even looked it up. I don't know if this is in, it's Volt, I mean, uh, Load Chain. I don't know none of that. Uh, these didn't have a lot of info on it. The guy that was running it was just running one, and it was for RC, uh, stuff. Charging RC, uh, batteries or some shit. Oh, uh, all right, let's turn it on. So 15.3839, let's let it set that for a minute. You might as well say 15.38. All right. This is King Loadless amp. Use it as a, uh, test dummy for these uh, should be all right that's 15.38 volts you can see it there and I see it on the monitor over there all right turn the RCI 2950 on this is the radio running this one's off this one's on and that's off. So it's this radio running. And I'm gonna run it in AM and sideband. Just to uh, see. Alright. Uh, the watts don't really matter what it's doing in wattage. I'll tell you what it's doing, I'll show you what it's doing. Uh, I'll show you the amperage. It's, it's all about the power supply. It ain't about the amp. Alright. Uh, radio driving into it is my RCI 2950. Into this power supply here, server. It's the voltage on it. Well, let's change out a 50 watt slug. Bird, that bastard. This is on AM. Oh, hello, 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 hello. So, wattage up there is 750 with this radio driving uh, on AM. So, uh, Let's go to the amp clamp. This is uh, how many amps this is consuming. You can see that. This is on AM. You see it didn't have no voltage loss without driving it on AM. Let's see how many amps it's pulling. Hello. Hello. So 72 amps. Hello. 72 amps on AM. Lower sideband. I'm on channel 17. So hello. So 75. Hello. 75, 78. All right. Turn it off. Unclamp that. This goes to ground. This goes to hot. Turn the meter to voltage. 
has a voltage 15.38. So you can see that. And this is on lower sideband again. Hello. Hello. Still putting out the wattage. I don't know if you see the relays keying in there. Hello. That's um all right, don't even unhook from that. Go over here to the amp clamp. Alright. Yeah, I'm still hooked up and it don't matter. Hello. So that showed about 80 amps right there. So this power supply is not drooping. Not drooping whatsoever. And I hope the other one is the same way. Uh, so. Hello. Went down maybe two tenths of a point. Hello. I went from eight down to five. So about three digits. Three points of a volt. And that is pulling right at the duty cycle of it though. On 110. It says directly on it. At 110 it's supposed to pull 72 amps. Voila. It's doing it. And it's doing it on sideband. Sideband's very hard on a power supply. And this thing is not hot. But now, then again, these do make a little noise, which I'm deaf, so. But I can feel it. It's funny how you, uh, you could kind of, when you lose your hearing, you can kind of feel and hear at the same time. I don't know vibrations or what, I don't know what I'm picking up. But anyway, I'm going to get this one out of line. This one looks kind of junky because it's, I got one more of these, well, I got two more. One don't work. But I bought these by mistake. I thought I was buying the uh, DPS 800. And I actually bought... Uh, I think it was about five of these. But anyways, this these cost more than this here. And it's another good thing about the other ones over here too. If they uh, work, and I wouldn't doubt that they don't. Uh, this one... This same person that I got mine from, he got his from, uh, let's put it in the end. It's a little shorter, which you cut that off. You cut this one off, take that handle off. You can actually put this in a little uh, foot and print. You can take this handle off, you can take that off, screw holes that on. This one, uh, can be took off. Uh, so it's about a half inch shorter than this one and skinnier too. You're saving uh, another half inch or so. Maybe a little under half inch, seven sixteenths. Something I like it. Uh, but let's see what we can do to this one. I'll have to refer to the notes. Oh. I don't 
let me say is for uh, so it was on his Patreon. Was all right. Go to his Patreon. And the video was online, but it's not online now. I don't know what he's doing with it. Or maybe I'm not paying enough money. But I got to see the other pictures on the other stuff. But when I go down here to the video, where it was at, where it was at, Mr. Carlson's. That's the day he made. There's a hopper. Hopper. The, the other one. The video there, the 100 amp supply, how to hack it and set it up. You click on it, and then it says this, this video is private. I don't know what he blocked me from it or what. I don't know. It says unlocked. I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe it's somewhere else. I don't know. Change my tip. I need to reset that clock. That clock's wrong. Seven AM. All right, I'm let my iron get a little warm. Change tips in it. I'm trying to think. Also, I'm just trying. If I am mistaken, I think he said he said he had to play around with this. So I think he said it was 
this may make me look like a damn fool, I don't know. But I think he said uh like nine K here. And then the back one over there was uh sixteen. 17, 18K? I don't think I got nothing to worry about. It, I ain't never had one yet to blow up. And hell if it does. Hell I would, but uh, I actually bought this for the price he was asking. I didn't, uh, I didn't haggle or nothing because by the time you haggle and then by the time you wait and uh, I mean what the hell is two dollars? I think it was twenty two dollars free shipping. You know what the hell is two dollars? All right. I got some heat shrink, but I like doing this better. Uh, it's actual Teflon. Alright, I'm going to do this one first. Alright, it's a verbal and I think he did it at the top. I don't think it really matters. Uh, where are your verbal pickups at? I think the front one's going to be better. Then again, I don't know. How for blow it up, it should be fun to watch too. Ain't like nothing else is enjoyable nowadays. He'll get in a tug job and then that didn't even fuck that up. Screwed that up. Hey, quick cousin. The fifth hole. Let's straighten this back out. Trim a little bit more.
this is the hard part. At least it looked like it. Yeah, let's see if we can do it. I've done about uh, of them other pile spies. I've done right many of them. And I've kind of got used to this here. And these good ass uh, binoculars I got on. I guess it makes it where you can see what most stuff. Get something set there. Let's see. All right, from the right. If I can remember from the right was third pin. So, or to the right. I've seen it. I sent a picture of it. I ain't too scared. This is uh, two eights tied together. Make sixteen. It's around 15 something, I think. Yeah, three nine, three nine three A. That's the same thing in that other one, but the other one, this one here, uh, maybe you can put a resistor across it. I don't know, uh, but uh, the form that I seen said lift it, so I lifted it. And uh, as you see, it works fine.
Alright. Well, that's done. On that part of it. Alright. Let's, uh, willy nilly this damn thing. Get it here and get shocked, I guess. Let's see. I think it was, it was a first and a fourth. I don't know which one's for the load sharing. I no clue. Uh, I'll look it up in a little bit and see what the uh, pin out on it is. And that's the way I found it. Uh, pin out. I tried mod. Let's see. I don't have a piece of wire from there to there. And it went, by the way, it went, pe pull that up. Alright, shit. i switch on this one, too. Got a shitload of these little switches. Don't break it. If I do, like I said, I got more. It's going to be on, on, off, it's got a road on it. It might be a little high, it might be a little low, I don't know. We'll figure it out together. So, alright. That's two eights there, so eight. That's, I don't know. This is a ten. So when you go in to in, it doubles it. When you go together, cuts it in half. Alright, so that doubled it. Alright. Hot ground. Ground's close to the switch. That don't really matter, it's a meter. All right, let's take the voltage. All right, plug this up here. All right, I'm plugging it in. Might close my eyes. It might pop. I don't know. I know. Lights on. Look. Right. Hit it. Fifteen seven four. Alright, so turn the potentiometer and you see I've not even touched them. Where's my little screwdriver? My little ceramic.
Well, I'll be dipped. There it is. Hell, he ain't making nothing worth a damn no more. Look at this. Look at that ceramic pull out of there. I know he's a cheap Chinese made shit, but I really enjoy these little screwdrivers when you need them. Let me put some glue in there. Alright, can you see the voltage without all that freaking glare? I think you see that. Alright, that was uh, two eighths tied together from end to end. Uh, not together. End to end. So, let's make sure I get that wrong sometimes. Because I'm an idiot. This is two. All right, let's shut this down. I know I get off topic a lot, but I can't believe this be the first time I've ever uh, and my notes is upstairs. So. And him down here with me. The only note I got down here is about my LED light that I put in yesterday. Uh, all right. Go to own. The other the ETNs tied together. Sixteen point three six. K ohm. That's the one on the inside there. And then this other one, I know that's a 10K. I ain't got no 9K. Nothing like that. I need to order another one of those uh, Bojack uh, uh, kits with different values in it. They make a really good kit. The voltage regulators really worked out great. Uh, I can hot glue that across there. Keep that from moving. This shouldn't move. But it'll be a touch of hot glue on that. But let's see if we got any. Uh, let's see if we got any. Uh, and these potentiometers. The ones with the two legs on the back, uh, one of those legs do something, the other one don't. The most time the one in the front, where the one leg is at, most time that's the, uh, it's between this leg and that leg, and that front leg is the uh, high and low part of it. The bottom one don't really do a lot. I don't know how I know that. I ring mess with freaking so many radios throughout the years. Let's see if I can get this where we can see it. I bet that messed nothing up. Touch something up by. Uh. Alright, go to voltage. Okay, voltage. Turn it on.